Today I will review the bill screen in Rent Manager 12. So right here, this is what the bill center looks like in RM12. Um, the big difference is obviously the layout of the bill center, but also in this A column right here, it stands for attachment. So the cool thing with this is that you can view attachments without having to go and manually open each one. So if there's an attachment that you would like to see, you can just right click one of these PDFs and it will automatically display um, that attachment. So in this bill center, you can filter these bills in a variety of ways. So the first way that you can do it, if you would like to do it by vendor, you can do it right here where it says vendor. You could also do it by tenant, prospect, owner. Um, but for this, we'll do vendor. Um, and then we can filter by all of our vendors that we have. Um, so if I just select Sanchez painting, all of the bills for all of our properties will display. Um, however, if I don't want to see the bills for every single property, I can uncheck this and then just pick a specific property that I would like to see. So I selected Creekside, so all of Sanchez painting bills for Creekside um, will now be displayed. Another way that you can filter um, is by selecting this filter icon right here. So when I select that, I can name it if you'd like. Um, but in this column area right here, these are all of the filters that I can apply. So I can do it by vendor, by post date, um, date created, the bill date, um, etc. So another thing that we can do with um, this bill center is that these columns are adjustable. You can adjust the, the width of them and then you could also adjust what is being displayed. So if I hit the setup column right here, this little icon. So to the right in the selected columns, these are all of um, the items that I have currently displayed. And then to the left, these are all of the available columns that I am not currently utilizing. So let's say that having the prop code will be helpful to me. Select it and then hit this arrow to bring it over to the selected columns. So it is now right here. And then if I hit OK, bring this over and the prop code is right there. Um, it's all the way to the side so I can adjust the width of the memo to display everything. So if there's a bill that I want to view, click it and then hit details at the bottom. This is what a bill looks like in RM12. We have all of the same information in here. We have the PO right here. And if you click that, then it is an active hyperlink. And this is the PO that coincides with this bill. If I go back to the bill center, if I'd like to add a bill, you can hit add at the bottom. And this is what is displayed. So fill in all of the relevant information, vendor amount, invoice number, memo, add your attachments, fill out the bottom. If you'd like to do a continuous add, you can also do that at the bottom left hand side. When you're done, just hit save. So again, this is the bill screen in RM12.